In this video, I'm going to uh, select assets for my project. And the project example uh, that we're going to use is a, a single page point of sale example. And I'm going to come straight onto the file system. And we can have a look and inspect some assets. And we can quickly narrow down the assets that we want. We've got the ability to filter. So I'm going to select, use the select button on this BMW logo. And let's go for this image here. If we've got lots and lots of images in here, we've got lots of different viewing options that we can use to, to narrow down what we're looking at. We can change the thumbnail size here. We can view assets side by side if we want to see them in a bit more detail. Um, have like a film strip view here that allows you to compare them. Um, we can go back to that grid view. We've got a list view here. So lots and lots of different ways to actually interrogate this content. We can, of course, look at it in the high res view um, at any time while we're trying to make our selections. Once we've made our selections, we can see we've got the ability to show me just the assets that I've got selected. You can see the, that we've got two here. You have got the ability to rank them by star rating. So if I select an asset, hit number four, we can see I've given that four stars, given that image two stars, give that image four stars. Again, I can select them just so, show me the four star images and it'll pull those images through. So lots of different ways to sort of narrow down the content that we want um, if we've got lots and lots of images to go through for a project. Once we've actually made our selection, we can see here under the customers area that I've already got some projects that I've generated in advance. These are just example ones and I've got a point of sale example here. We can see that we've got an assets folder for that point of sale, and that's currently empty. So if I go back into the dam here, I can just grab those assets that I want, and I can drag and drop that into the assets folder for my project. And we can see now in my project area inside the assets folder, both of those selected assets ready to go.